Armani. He marches on. So next up, we've got MOV and Kazunoko again. As we said, MOV, one of the best players in the world. So number one consistent. Chandler. Number one channel. But dealt with pretty convincingly by Knuckle D. He's going up against Kazunoko now. We'll see um, what these guys uh, have left in the tank, how they can deal with it. MOV, of course, has to come back. Kazunoko won his first game there. Yeah, I mean, Kazunoko had a great start to the tournament, um, sending um, Fudo to losers. Um, but then he was sent to losers himself. He's marched his way through. Here he is against MOV, who I think a lot of people consider to be, you know, some people consider him to be the best Street Fighter Five player. I mean, I'm not sure how true that is, but he's definitely up there in the top five at the very least. And he's showing it here this weekend. I mean, that loss against Knuckle Dude's got to be eating him, though. I wouldn't well, he just dealt that. with uh, the Chun Li 3 2 uh, in his first game. Um, so we'll see how he does. Shout out to Zowie, Ben Q, of course, the official Capcom Pro Tour monitor, the RL 2460. Uh, is the monitor of choice for the Pro Tour and many other events around the world. You get lag free head to head setups there with the HDMI out. That's available right now. So go and check that out. I need to get one of those for my house. Got one incoming. Go ahead. Totally. Living that life. Let's begin. All right, here we go. MOV player one, Chun Li. Kazunoko player two, Kami. They are fighting for their lives here in the loser's bracket. Of top eight here at the Capcom Cup Finals, coming to you from the PlayStation Experience. How is MOV going to deal with this pressure where Goichi was not able to? Has an over running the Chun Li Gauntlet right now. MOV definitely more resourceful player. He's definitely innovated a lot more, uh, and I feel his defense is a level above most of the other Chun Li's that we see out there. Absolutely. We're in there. There's that crouching fist that we saw so effective against Goichi. It did get blown up a few times though. Didn't get a conversion there. Looks like he didn't expect that to hit. I see that. Just, just sticking that neutral jump out to keep himself away from that dive kick opportunity. I've actually seen a lot of Chun-Li's trick guard. The dive kick coming down with that neutral jump. Got full punish. Nice activation. Connection. Here we go. And again, Kazunoko takes the damage. We often see Kami's not go for that second follow-up. Kazunoko and Shaohai tend to always go for the damage in that situation. I think I agree with that decision. Oh, the fake cross-up. Nice combo. Gets the corner carry. No dive kick that time. Again, we see Kazunoko mixing up that air approach. Oh, Ooh, wow. that side switch whoa, whoa, whoa. was horrible. <laughs> got Which way did he go? At the end, it could have cost him everything. Beautiful play there from Kazunoko. Catching and throwing. MOV consistently jabbing after that block drive kick. That's a hit confirmed. You see the little delay there. He sees it and connects with it. Beautiful play there from him. Classic MOV. third strike. Of course. Oh, nice reaction. That's an answer. Good punish. Yes. What a round this is from MOV. Every decision on point. Kazunoko put in his place. It's one round apiece. Final round. Fight. Great sequence there from MOV. Nice whiff punish. That crouching fist. I, I wouldn't stick out as much as Casanova does. Beautiful state of punch this time. But this time the medium punch to push himself backwards. So clever from MOV to do that. The fake cross up though. And Casanova's got the momentum back in his corner. Nice pressure. But he just managed to confirm off that low forward. That's where he lost from. Great hit count here. Confirm. The throw. He's done one more touch. He's that V-Trigger activated. Oh, oh he, knew. he closed the round out anyway. He knew a throw would have killed. Decided to commit to the tech. It didn't come. Killed MOV with full bar there as well. Great play from Kazunoko. Both those last two rounds were just so unforgiving. Disappearing in lightning speed. MOV good to go again though. No time needed. Packed out arena here at the PlayStation Experience. Thousands of people watching intently. Look at that killer look on Kazunoko's face, Logan. Here we go. He's here to do damage. Nice whiff punish. And MOV is a master of whiff punishing with his character. Oh, as you say that, Kazunoko with a whiff punish of his own. So stubborn, pressing buttons on Nick. Kazunoko already got V trigger up. You're going to see him activate. There we go. Takes the damage again. Sends us to the corner as well. Oh, good activation. Straight to the spinning burkit. Ooh. Delay. Could be it. Yes, it is. Lovely delay. Very last hit, just about Whenever it catches the throw tech, buttons, whatever it was. Counter hit. 
Both lows though. Oh, nice one, MOV. Beautiful explosive V trigger activations there. Both hit confirming for maximum damage. I like the neutral jump there, but it didn't just work out for him, but it's a good answer. Oh, that's that medium punch. Didn't push her far back enough. Got punished for it. Oh, wow, stuck. Gonna get the critical eyes. Is he gonna use it to take the round? No. He's gonna oh. save it. He's got such a life lead. He didn't need to use it. Look at much. He had so much to work with him. Chun-Li obviously can come back, but she's not like a huge burst damage combat character as well. So. Yeah, I agree with that decision. I mean, a bit risky with Cammy, but I agree with that decision. Paid off as well. Man, that crash Mino kick has been blown up by Dive so many times. Great jab interruption. Then Kazunoko returns the favor. Yeah, spinning bird. The reversal to get rid of the frame advantage. Had the downsides there. I thought I'd see any spinning bird. Didn't come. Chose to be reversal instead. Now Kazunoko charging forward. Has that V trigger activated? There it is. Great anti air choice. He's holding down charge again. Significant life lead here. MOV is just chilling. Really lovely patience here from MOV. Oh! oh he's got connects. He's got a quick block. So he connects fortunate. with something else. He had the counter hit. There's another anti air EX spinning bird. He's used them so well. Comes forward. Dive kick. Oh, Dive almost hit. got blown up for crashing medium kick again. Oh, he could kill him if he gets another hit. Is Kaznoko going to go to Oh, him? MOV gets oh, off the low shot. That was, that was super tense because you knew. Any touch, Kaznoko's going straight into the critical art and closing that out, but MOV drinks that magic elixir from his water bottle. What a nail-biting win there from, from MOV. I mean, that's just a margin away from being 2-0 down. Suddenly, you're one apiece. You're right back in the set. Sigh, deep breath there from MOV as he composes himself. We're at one apiece. Oh, going back into it. Medium punch there. He's got to leave the hard kick. Comes in. Side switch, he blocks it though. He's ready for that. I've seen the MOV's pretty much committed to anti air with the EX Spinning Bird when he has it. It's a great choice, I feel. Uh, definitely. A it's something you can whole... do last minute as well because Spinning yeah. Bird Kick has pretty quick start up, so it's got loads of active frames yeah. as well, so it's gonna, it's gonna deal with that jumping even if it's not delayed or it is delayed. Absolutely. This great pressure here from MOV tries to dash and do some damage, wasn't able and to get And ready. Spinning Bird again. And that's just a get off me. He doesn't care about the damage, he just wants to get away from your pressure. Oh, beautiful whip on it. Oh, activation on hit. Easy and confirmed. Big damage. Tense Casanova flying. Wake up, Jab, but then interrupt. Oh, wow. that was a great interruption. And that's what we're seeing from MOV that we didn't see from Goichi. Two answers. He's dealing with that dive kick pressure and he is interrupting the strings. It could cost him, of course. That's so clever to, to, to absorb the first jab and then interrupt off. Yeah. There's no way. MOV does that. He's been doing that for like nine months straight. So clever. We saw him do it at the European region all the time. Like jabbing where you shouldn't be jabbing. Ankle. Oh, oh, and the count, oh. counter hit gets the damage. <laughs> Is he going to be able to get the damage? The yes, and he closes the round out and goes. 2-1 up now from MOV, and this is great wow. adaptation. He's bringing out all the tricks, and Kazunoko is going to really have to change it up. He's going to have to tighten up his strings. He's going to have to get less obvious with his aerial attacks as well and play a bit more on the ground. He's Has he got those confirms in the locker from the low forward? Yeah, what, who? Ka Kazunoko? Kazunoko. Well, yeah, usually, but he's kind of just committing to the V-Trigger activation, which I don't really like. Yeah. You know, he's more than capable of hit confirming that. He's point. not really playing footsies with, like, the crouching medium kick into the spot flower. Oh, he's just no. going for the hard punch all the time. You know, I've really liked that. Just all dive kick. MOV's small adaptations have really changed the way Kazunoko's got a pressure. And he's had to. Exactly. He, he did so well against Goichi with those dive kicks and with the pressure, but MOV's not letting him have a bar. He's not blocking. He's not respecting after the... Uh, Still the block pressing normal buttons on minus frames as well. Yeah. There you go, that's exactly what we're talking about. Stand in the position where you can hit confirm that. Ooh. Great sequence, all from that one drill. Now MOV's in the corner. Oh, good activation. activation, and now that stun is all going. That's what he cares about. The damage is nice, but now he's he leveled it up as well. Oh, man. <laughs> Gotta be so careful there. Kasunoko just backs away. Great decision. That's it, and gets a surprise throw. A throw of MOV zone now, as Kazunoko's in the corner. Oh, what a confirm off the double from Kazunoko. That was beautiful. How situational was that? Yeah, he was ready. It's the sort of play we were expecting here now. Top eight at the big event. Yeah. The Highest season end of the Capcom Cup. Stand medium kick, crouch medium kick. He just seems to only go for the stand crouch fist. Oh, that was horrible. That side switch. Last minute. Hits in the corner. Stand for, oh, there it is. 
making sure she doesn't advance this time, but another perfectly timed interruption there from Kagano from a uh, uh, MOV gets him back. Fierce again, there. fierce again. Uh, hit. Sent to the corner. Yeah, he was ready that time with the X spinning bird. Lovely timing on that. Cost him a super meter though. Oh, oh stand for the buttons off. We hard. haven't seen him use V skill pretty much all set, and I hardly saw him use it against Goichi at like all. A month, man. <laughs> I haven't seen that move. And I think uh, MOV hasn't seen it because he forgot it's plus. Tried to press buttons afterwards. Well, MOV has been interrupting after plus frames all set, to be honest with you. Finally, as we said, Kazunoko tighten those strings up. Doesn't leave the gaps in there. Um, man, these guys are just adapting to one another so quickly. Now Sorry. two apiece. Final game. This could very easily be your grand finals here. So glad that you're getting the quality of play that you deserve here at the Capcom Cup Finals. Incredible stuff all the way through so far. Even more to come. That winner's final is going to be insane. But right now, MOV with the pressure. As Anoko backs off. Respecting that hard punch. You always have to. Oh, well spaced. Cannon strike. Just when nice. he plays, pussy. That time the frame trap was tight. Oh, he's been so good with that. A big momentum changer. It just slows all the Activate the nice. Sends up flying. Old feature trigger spin. Desperate to activate his own one. Oh no, he doesn't get a limp, he gets the back throw. Match point has no cut. The forward throw. He's so looking for it. It's not a stop still, does it? He's looking so hard for that V-Trigger. Didn't get a chance Set to point here for Kazunoko. There we go. Nice, that bear punch. Good punish. Almost on reaction. And again, Wait, cross under. There's a so ambiguous punch. with those cross under. You love the use of the stand medium punch. He pushes himself back out a lot. To eliminate that threat. Nice late view reversal. On that EX, getting rid of the frame advantage. Oh, there's that fierce again. Cammy's turn to match that fierce and peel the damage off. That's Huge life lead. Take this now. MOV is not desperate to activate, but there he does off the medium punch. Gets a hit. He really needed that. Can he keep this momentum going? Oh, jump back! He tried to delay the button. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Doesn't want to spend the meter. He's got the down charge. Refuse oh, to it with Great take. Paper. That V-Trick is almost gone for MOV. Good jump in there from Kazunoko. Tries to punish. Oh! Nice he actually has to spend it that time. Staying alive here is MOV. Doesn't want to go down yet. Kazunoko! Oh, jump, jump in! in. Oh, oh no, he didn't get it! Still in He's it. got a pixel! Oh, oh MOV! How oh much damage can he get oh here? Oh, Casanova! Oh. Closes it out! Oh. That's what we're looking at. That. MOV, that hurts. Wow, how tense was that? 230k they're playing for first place. And that hurts. That was so tight. He almost made the comeback. That's such a good day yesterday. Today it just didn't happen for him, did it? It just didn't happen. Kazunoko stays in. MOV bows out. Ricky Ortiz, the only Chun-Li left in this top eight. Oh, wow. Very interesting point there, Logan. Very interesting. <sighs> if we can see um, some of the action there, if we've got the replays lined up, because this was super hype. I really All enjoyed this set. That. Great back and forth. Adaptation. And this, is, this is what closed it out. It was so tense. Yeah, I love this slow-mo. Let's really analyze this, Logan. This is this the last round. That's it. Didn't press a button in the air. Could have got so he'd, much more he'd, damage. He'd mentally committed to that not, empty jump low, right? Because he could have reacted to the fireball and, and, and punished. But here we go. Pixel left. And this is what the makes jump fire five so exciting. Missed his, missed his air dive kick and got punished big time for it. Look at the damage on this. And now it's, now it's a next hit situation. Touch and up. that time again, he kept the frame trap tight and he clipped him. I think it was probably a jump back. Something that happened there. Sometimes it goes his way. Sometimes.